this sort of hits home a little bit. I didn't watch it that much is because I think for me, I thought this cartoon was okay. Mm -hmm. Now, um, did any of you watch Recess? Disney, oh, Disney yeah. Cartoon. Recess. Mm -hmm. Remember the animated show? It takes place during Recess. Who's in it? Yeah, teeny exactly. tiny bits for me. Yeah, so they look like this. Yeah, like like this. Art, you'll understand, it. right? Oh, yeah, I know that show. Yeah, yeah. we like this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, they are, I guess there is, a, not a reboot, but like a, a continuation oh. that there was a uh, a pitch for Disney's, uh, I, 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 was, I would say it's a reboot, but it's in the future. Sort of like Rugrats all grown up, right? Okay. When Rugrats, they became, they became uh, high schoolers and stuff. So, um, it's not looking so good based off of this headline. This comes to us from Bounding into Comics. And it says, Alleged pitch Bible for Disney's Recess Reboot reveals proposed series will focus on girl boss daughter of Spinelli and Vince and have Gus come out as transgender. Huh. How, how shocking and original. <laughs> Wait, who's who is Gus? I have, I have the uh the, 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 this guy down here with the glasses. <laughs> All right, sure. Why the fuck not? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's hard to tell if anything's a farce or real anymore. Like sometimes you look and you're like, oh no, that's that's real life. Man, yeah. that sucks. Poor guy. It was just like eeny meeny miny, you're gonna be trans now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There is no Ray, suggestion you... of any of that in the yeah. show before. Also, it's not like, you know, you could be like, oh, maybe he's in the wrong form. It's just like, yeah, we got to throw one in there. Yeah. Gray, did you watch this growing up? Yeah, very, very minor. But yeah, I do remember watching it a little bit. But yeah, definitely none of that, what we're facing right now back then was really, really foreign or was what was non-existent back in the day. Yeah, Ugh. I think this. I think this is insane. Yeah, a, a lot of people really, yeah. really like Recess. It says here an alleged pitch bible for the potential reboot of Disney's Recess has leaked online, and unfortunately, the proposal is filled with brim, filled to the brim with the most played out identity politics focus story tropes one can possibly imagine. Yeah, uh, I guarantee the black kid. I forgot his name already. He's going to be some kind of like BLM maybe uh, person, and then this one, he's uh, this. Yeah, that's going to be trans and. Uh, like it doesn't need to be like that. And who asked for this? Created by Rugrats Lloyd in Space Writers. Oh, <laughs> oh man. I, 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 like we 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 talked about last year. I think it was last year or two years ago. We talked about they were gonna make Barney, but for like what as as an adult, like adult Barney, like porn, purple dinosaur. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if it's gonna be porn. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be like Barney is like like officially gay. We all know that he's a gay dinosaur, but like officially, and it, it might, I don't know, Baby Bop yeah. or DJ might be trans or something. It's it's going to be for like adults. Like it's going to be like uh, R-rated or something. But like everything that we loved as a little kid, now it's, it's being ruined. And I think that's the yep. reason why a lot of people prefer older content. And when I say older yeah. stuff that came out in the 80s, early 90s, and or maybe just stuff that's not woke or maybe just go towards indie gaming, indie films, mm -hmm. indie TV shows. Mm -hmm. I think that's where it is now because everything that we love growing up is, is awful now. How, uh, Jen and Sylv, how, how do you feel about what's going on with, with this TV show and the stuff that's happening right now? This is disingenuous too. You know they don't give a fuck. It's just like yeah. everybody's like gay this month. They don't actually give a fuck. They're just like, give me those rainbow dollars. Give me this. What's popular right now? Fuck, let's do this. Like. I've worked for so many corporations and uh, no offense, actually offense to them. They, they're they the most hateful motherfuckers you'll ever, you'll, the fucking shit that they say is disgusting. And then they're like, wait, wait, what should we say? And uh, they're like, it's, they're just doing it for money. They don't, they don't care about gay people. They don't care about trans people. They're just trying to fit in and get this, this kind of wave of what's going and it's popular right now. Like, Years ago, the birdcage came out. It didn't make fun of gay people. It didn't make fun of Republicans. It was just like, hey, wouldn't it be cool if you guys got smashed together in some kind of situation? It actually made sense. But now everything's, this guy's the bad guy and this is the good guy. This is, 
this is not what anybody wants. This isn't telling a message. This isn't saving the world. It's just kind of taking a shit on people's childhoods. It's so tokenization mm -hmm. of queer people as well. Like yeah. I know a lot of people who are same sex attracted and fucking hate rainbows. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and it's possible to have a gay story without making it cringe. Like, I'm a huge Buffy fan. Yeah. When Willow started realizing there's different parts to her sexual identity, I went along for the ride. At no point was I like, ooh, le well, definitely I was like, ooh, lesbians. That's, <laughs> that's for sure. But I never felt like, hey, this is making – this is making young people feel like they have to be gay if they're not gay, you know? Yeah. It's not like, oh, now everybody has to be like Willow. I felt it was proper representation yeah. for people, especially teenagers, that were struggling with same-sex attractiveness or attraction yeah. and not having a lot of representation. Everyone loves Willow. There isn't a person in the world that's like, yeah, that was just like a fucking tokenized character. Like, no. Willow struggled. You saw her go from a loser to dark Willow. You saw her love and you got to see her lose. And that's what really pisses me off about all this gay baiting rainbow dollar stealing shit. Because if there's ever a good trans character, if there's ever a good gay character, you're never going to... Good be fucking luck selling that now. Right? There, There's no Willows in the future for us because they're all just like, okay, eeny, meeny, miny, gay. And it's not even like there's any thought put into it. And it's just so detrimental to gay people everywhere and nobody is no gay person is going to be like oh i better start watching rugrats no they don't they're not going to start watching, not watching doctor who either it's just like i don't want to i don't want a part I, of this fucking argument yeah it's not like a bunch of gay people are like oh better tune into who there's just a bunch of people <laughs> tuning out of who you know it just doesn't make any effing sense same thing with x-men they had a lot of gay characters that they could do but they're like iceman is now gay but he likes chicks not anymore he doesn't now he's super gay like what about just... all the straight dudes who've liked ice men for 40 years and like yeah ice man tattoo and now they're like i didn't know it was a blood bud light i just uh, thought I, that I just, this guy... yeah, like ice surfing I just, i'm fucking confused i just right thought now. he was cool i didn't i'm not i'm not i'm not so it, it's kind of like a bait and switch yeah so like you take something that somebody loves and you destroy it. And I really do think it's taking, you know, gay representation back decades because yes. you're going to get this, this pushback yeah. anytime there is a gay character. And it pisses me off. It pisses me off for my gay friends and it pisses me off for good cinema and good storytelling. This, the, the focus always needs to be on character development and story. And when you're just talking about any kind of politics, it just becomes, becomes a big steaming pile of shit. It's like politics attack us on social media, on the news. Yeah. You can't get out of it. And now it's in our entertainment, too. Yeah. Our very escapism to escape from the bullshit of the world. It's like, surprise, here we are. And by the way, you're a fucking bigot. Wait, what? I just want to watch a cartoon <laughs> dinosaur. Why does he have to be fucking another dinosaur in the butt? I just, that's not my thing. <laughs> you, don't like me mature, thing. you don't like mature Barney hooking up with other dudes you're a bigot it's like no who yes. asked? Uh, can he at least have a drug problem if we're gonna make an adult <laughs> thing like does he have, <laughs> does he have like, an addiction <laughs> yeah i yeah i i think me and gray talk uh, talk about this at, at length i think um we're not we're not saying that there can't be any gay representation or you know no. lgbtq representation right it just has to be written really really well but we yeah. talk we i always bring this example up because it's, it's a really really good example but now i have another one the first one is is uh ober and martell from game of thrones mm. right he's he's a bisexual character but that's not why he's awesome that's not why everyone loved his characters because he's really really well written another yeah. character is um is uh, i believe his name is dion prince dion from final fantasy 16. he's a badass prince that turns into a, a motherfucking dragon He's, he, he loves his dad. He wants to save the kingdom. The last thing on his list is why people like him is gay. Right? Amazing. Because that's because, not your whole identity. That's yes. just part of it, right? Yeah. And yes. when somebody comes in with like, by the way, as a bisexual, I'm like, whoa, whoa. whoa. Don't like, you're not leading the parade. They don't have to be. It can just be another thing that they are. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely well said. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm sad. Like uh, everything is just 
you know, uh, and the thing is, they, they have the bringing back member berry stuff. Oh, you remember that? Yeah. When you were a kid? Yes. Now we're gonna yes. we're gonna turn that shit like extremely woke. It's not for you anymore. No. And if they are gonna be doing like a reboot or a remake, like you know, Little Mermaid, it's not gonna be a white a white girl anymore with red hair. It's gonna be a black girl with sort of red hair. So it's just so much hate making for it... redheads. Yeah, and they ruined the whole father daughter part of it. It was, God, it was such a shitty movie. I want. How do you fuck up something people already love so badly? You know, it's such a basic story. Sometimes your dad is right. <laughs> I know <Yeah. laughs> you might be a dick about it, but maybe your dad knows you shouldn't give up your whole life for some dude you've just met. That's like that's a timeless. And timeless Ursula story. the whole time is telling you it's a shitty deal, and you're like, ah, whatever. And she's like singing poor unfortunate souls, and you're like, anyway, I'm gonna. Get she this sings in. a whole song about why it's a bad idea. A whole song, and Ariel's like, yeah. I'm gonna do it anyway. Even the crabs like <laughs> Ariel's kind of it. too. It's not like she can't write down. I was the one who saved you. Yeah, yeah, Eric. I lost my voice. I'm a mermaid. I got feet for you. Like bit of a dumb, bit of a dumb dumb. <laughs> Thanks for checking out this segment of the Project Egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and you will know next time when we go live. We do go live every Saturday at 8 p.m. Once again, we are just getting started. Tons of more video to come. Thanks, and we'll see you guys next time.